bit, but I don't have nothing to hunt today. And you know what? I couldn't even get a turkey tag from my own county. So all I got to do is hunt stuff in the yard. Pine cones and targets and blackbirds and whatever. But today I ain't going to hunt squat. I'm actually waiting just a little bit for them coyotes to start denning up to have their pups and I'm going to go after them. That ought to be cool. But that's going to be later. I'll try to get that stuff on video when I get some good hunts going for them suckers. But I want to just cover... I got asked to cover my aiming technique. And it could go for anybody. I'll just try to roughly tell you how I do it. And I know I've done this before. So... Let's just assume you got your bow tuned. Okay? That arrow's flying straight and we're not even going to worry about any of that. Your bow's tuned, it's flying perfect, and you're shooting fingers. They shoot split. You can do this either way. This topic has been covered probably two billion times, but everybody does a little bit different, and it all depends on your facial configuration. So, let's get set up here and we'll take some shots. First of all, you got to turn your hat backwards. You should get that string up there, unless you just cut a V out of your bill. That might help you kill bigger bucks or something. I haven't done it yet, so you might want to try it. So there's, there's my setup. I know I've beat this in the ground, but it's just basic. And I can't really shoot at my other range and go long distance and all that because the sun's coming up and it's just blinding. So I ain't even gonna mess around with that. We're just gonna shoot close up here on my turkey and the little caribou target. I'm gonna just shoot a few here and I'll try to explain what I do. I'm kind of split vision. When you're training yourself, you can, when you train yourself, just if you're starting out, I want you to try this. Just draw back, find your anchor. My, my index finger is right on my cheekbone. My nose touches the vein or the feather, whatever you shoot. That'll put the arrow right under your eye. Now I want you to just, just look at the tip of your arrow. Bring it up dead center where you want to hit, but then just come back down out of it. Bring it out of your picture and then instinctively look where you want to hit and just, just let her go. That's going to train your little computer up here to remember the gap, if you call it. And say when animals come in and whatever you're hunting, then it, you're going you're gonna to shoot primarily instinctively without referencing squat. You're just going to come in, you know you want to shoot wherever you want to shoot on the animal, whichever way it's facing. And it's just going to happen, but you have got to shoot a lot of arrows, and you got to start close and work your way back. Because when you get back to like 50 yards, then your your points up there in the way, your arrow shaft, and like when I go back around 80 yards, heck, the top of my grip here, it's coming in in my sight picture because I don't shoot real heavy weight, and so I don't have a real flat trajectory of the arrow. But that's Comfortable is better for me, but that's that, that's it. Start at about five or ten yards, like you know where you want to hit. Come up there and, and reference that arrow, and then just take a second. Yep, I want to hit dead center, so just hold. And it's, I'm telling you, you let your brain compute all this, shoot. Shoot five, ten yards probably, I don't know, 50 times, and you will be smoking, um, I guarantee you. But first, you make sure your bow's tuned. You make sure it's tuned to your style, not anybody else's. Right spined arrow and all that. But here, I'll, here, we'll go, I'll spin you around here. I shot that turkey once. Like there's that caribou, and my arrow's. I blew through there on the turkey. 
Okay, this is gonna be a close shot. But this is just something for a visual aid for you guys. A lot of kneeling when you're hunting. Make sure that you hit this consistent anchor. Reference your arrow when you're learning. Let your arrow leave the bow. Realize sometimes even I do it, I want it. Sometimes I'll drop my arm. Just try not to do that. You draw back, just hold it just like you're shooting a sight pin. Anchor, hold, come up and reference your arrow. But obviously you can't hold your arrow point on your target here. Just get your left and right. That's what the purpose of it is. Getting your left and right, then you'll then you'll learn your distances through shooting. That went dead center right through the turkey. Let's, let's shoot that turkey again. All right, I'm going to try another little view here, see if it might help you. So these are no, there's no secrets in any of this. It's just, it's just repetition, finding your own style. But you got to be familiar with your sight picture. Like I don't really give a crap about if it's truly instinctive or you're gapping. I call it, it's, it's out there, it's been out there. It's called split vision. I know my sight picture and that's the only way that I mean I like doing it that way because I'll be more accurate that way I ain't gonna come back and snap shoot it's just it's just ain't the way I want to do it so I'm gonna try to shoot right by this camera come back cheekbone you can raise your bow up like my arrow is dead my arrow point is dead centered down that leg And it just, just goes down dead center. Like this is like 15 yards. Heck, it's, it's say it's down there by the knees on that little caribou. So really that's kind of a big gap to do to reference if you're going to strictly gap shoot and keep all your focus on your arrow point, which I don't do. I get my left and right with my arrow if I can, if I got time to. And then then through repetition and shooting you learn your bow set it at a comfortable weight and and you'll be good you just got to shoot a lot and try to maintain that push pull release get that nice crisp string release off your fingers you'll have good flight here now let's do another one right in there so I hope that kind of helps you out a little bit I'll be out in this yard shooting arrows for just I mean sometimes I do it all day long when I don't have nothing to do but like for today this is off the bow subject but it could be part of the bow subject if I was to sh shoot the pigs I'm gonna get where that trampoline is that got mangled from the wind I'm gonna Got me a little hog pin back there with a piece of crap roof over it. I'm gonna be getting a couple little piggies and raise some pork. Well, if you guys have any questions or whatever, I obviously don't live in an area where I can go hunt pigs and I didn't even get a turkey tag from my own county here in Illinois, which sucks. So, yeah, but I, I'm still shooting my Oneida bows. I'll come at you with a few more videos coming up here soon. Maybe I'll show the pigs 
we're definitely going to go on some coyote hunts. They're going to be dinning up to have their pups. I just got to go find them. And when they have them pups, that means they're going to be hunting some deer fawns, and I don't want them eating all them up. So that's going to be my next little adventure coming up between going to work and stuff. So, any questions, feel free to ask. And if one of these days I'm going to get the chance to go on some big hunts and I'm going to try to get some good cameras to take along. My ultimate goal is to end up on Kodiak Island killing a big grizzly bear with this. With this with this here phoenix. Hopefully one day that'll happen. But right now I don't have 25 grand to drop on one of them hunts. <laughs> Maybe someday. We'll just have to do her. It'll be cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. I got to get the hog pen ready, get the feed for them. Got to raise these little dudes all summer, get them all fat and juicy. And then they're going to get the big ugly axe. See ya.